All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is RYC Praise Live. Yes, yes, yes. This is RYC Praise News Live. Good morning. Man, we're not going to have a long show today. I just want to tell everybody Happy New Year's Eve. Um, be safe out there. Be protected out there. Watch out for one another. And just realize that your new year, you can put all that you want into it. It's going to be a great new year. Just pray on it now. Start off running. I don't usually do a new year's resolution. My only new year's resolution really is to be healthier and find a place to live. That's my New Year's resolution. And I pray that it does not take me all year to find a place to live. I need a place to live, y'all. So I'm going to start my um, finding a place to live uh, bucket. Whereas I'm just going to be putting all kind of stuff in that bucket because I'm trying to be moved out of where I am by at least February or March. So it takes a while to save back up, you know, the deposit that people want in order to find a place to live. And I want to, and I'm just praying this to God. I want a place that is in the area that I'm still in, a nice area. So where I can still probably walk and get some exercise in, go to the store when I need to go. To. You know, like God said, be specific in what you want. It's not just being specific in, you know, a man or a woman or something like that. But you have to be specific in your prayers. You know, it doesn't matter what you're praying for. So just make sure you're being specific on what you want. So God, just hear my prayer right now. I need at least one two bedroom, you know, would be a blessing, but at least a one bedroom, a studio apartment, you know. So um, in Jesus name, I just hand it all over to you. So let me play. The RYC Praise News report by Iceberg365, Amanda Haley, for the last time of this year. I hope y'all enjoy. Hey guys, Amanda Haley, DJ Iceberg365, anchor for RYC Praise News. First up, I thought this was a great reminder. Honesty is the best policy from Track Stars. Here's what they had to say. The more open and honest you are with your fan base, the more likely it is they will feel connected to you, hence increasing their loyalty. This can be demonstrated in a number of ways. Talk about your lyrics. Talk about the inspirations behind your songs. Let the audience know you appreciate their support and share the occasional insight into your personal life. How else have you been open and honest with your fans? You can learn more and join the group at facebook.com slash groups slash track stars radio. Next up, a true strength apparel exists to point you to Jesus Christ and that with him we can be strong no matter what life gives us. The verse that this brand reps is Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse was written by the Apostle Paul while he was in prison and was him as saying no matter what is thrown his way, he knows that since he has Christ as his source of strength, he will be okay no matter what the outcome. We too can have this strength for life if we know Christ. Let's get strong and stay strong together in Jesus. Find out more and shop at truestrengthapparel.com. Last up, Pen Game 101 is a show created by Rapziola that sees panelists dissect the pen of the artist, then play a game with the artist, and then get taken to school 101 by the artist. Season 2 kicks off with Aaron Cole and his new project, Two Up, Two Down. He talks about his relationships with fellow artists, controlling his ego, and what went into creating his album. Meet the panelists, Justin Sikarczyk, 
Luke DiMarzio, Cut Right and Elijah Matos. Support the podcast at anchor.fm slash rapzilla slash support. The mission of RYC Praise News is to bring the world good news about God and uplift our brothers and sisters in a good word. We come to you in multiple different ways, or mu- music, news, reporting, podcasts. We are here to lift up the word of God. Luke 2.10 says, And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. We have a live 365 station for RYC Praise News. Check it out, bit.ly slash RYC Praise News. We accept submissions of podcasts, DJ mixes, music, and artwork to rycpraisenews at gmail.com. Drop our Facebook page a like, facebook.com slash rycpraisenews, and subscribe to RYC Praise News on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at NewsRYC and Instagram and TikTok at RYC Praise News. I hope you enjoyed my report from this week. Please share this video and leave story suggestions for next time down in the comments. I'm DJ Iceberg365 for RYC Praise News. I'll see you next week. All right, all right. And I'd just like to say thank you right now to um, Amanda Haley for doing the RYC Praise News reports this year. Um, I had a blast working with her. And also, make sure y'all go support her um, show, the The Vault Jamcast. She airs it twice monthly. So go to YouTube, or you can go to, uh, I believe, Podbean, or just search it on Google, and The The Vault Jamcast will pop out. So major shout out to Amanda Haley, DJ Iceberg 365, for all the hard work and dedication that she has put behind her RYC Praise News reports. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Next up, we're going to be listening to our last ministry moment for 2021. This comes from King David the Vessel. Um, and I'll speak more about him after. All right. Enjoy. Yo, what's going on? It's your man, King David the Vessel right here. RYC Praise News. And this is another ministry moment. I got a quick question for you. When's the last time you prayed for your enemy? No, no. The question was, when's the last time you prayed for your enemy? The people who have chosen to oppose you and what it is that you believe that God is doing in with and through your life, the things that God desires for you to have. When's the last time you prayed for individuals who hurt you inadvertently? Because, you know, every body that hurts us isn't doing so intentionally we you do realize that right now when's the last time you prayed for the person who went out of their way to hurt you you do realize that it's not just the person but more importantly it's the spirit behind that person for we wrestle not scripture says in ephesians we wrestle not against flesh and blood okay but against principalities and so it's not the person i'm not fighting the person I'm fighting the spirit behind the person. The person is allowing the spirit to use them, but I'm fighting the spirit that's behind the person. The spirit is using the person to get to me, to get me out of the spirit and into my flesh. When's the last time you pray for your enemy? Your enemy is in chains. Your enemy is in bondage. Your enemy is disappointed. Your enemy is hurting. They're heartbroken. They're discouraged. They're beaten. They're battered. They're bruised. And they're choosing to remain in that space. It doesn't make what they do okay. But how we respond and how we look at our perspective as saints of God has got to be better. We don't do an eye for an eye. That's Old Testament. You want to be under the law and go be a Hebrew Israelite or something like that. Listen, this is not what we do. We give grace. Grace is a law, but we give grace of his fullness of all we received in grace for grace. John 1 16. When's the last time you prayed for your enemy? For that person you don't get along with. For that person who's trying to not get along with you. It's important that we look at these things and we examine ourselves because guess what? 
as much as heaven is looking at these things and looking at us and looking at our heart in these things, guess what? The enemy is also accusing us when we are not doing these things. When the last time you pray for your enemy, the person who lied on you, who put your name out here, who tried to get in traction against and call you everything but a child of God. When's the last time you pray for your enemy? These are the questions that we need to, when the scripture talks about, let a man examine himself. These are the things that we need to be asking. Yeah, it's tight, but it's right. I love you. I'm not going to be your enemy because I told you the truth. But if that's what you choose, hey, so be it. Guess what? I'm praying for you. I love you. God bless you. This has been another ministry moment right here. RYC Praise News. I'm your man, King David the Vessel. God bless you. God keep you. Let's go. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that was uh, King David the Vessel with our ministry moment. And um, I just want to say, man, I really appreciate that, brother. Um, just like with Iceberg 365, King David the Vessel has been here year-round, lending a hand, lending his expertise within his knowledge of the Bible and his relationship with God to help other people bring them closer, not only through the ministry moment, but King David the Vessel is an awesome artist as well. So um, if you have time, you know, go check out his music on all streaming platforms. Also, wherever you buy, you purchase your music, you can purchase music from King David the Vessel as well. He has, uh, I believe, three albums out that you can purchase, and I believe I have all three of them, <laughs> but, um, that brother's really been there for me, and he, he has a heart for God, so, definitely, go, um, check him out, <sighs> so, wrapping it up for 2021, I just pray everybody love one another. Do not take it lightly that your friend or your family member is here with you. Because as we've seen in 2020, a person can be lost. At the drop of a dime. So. I just want to go into 2022. With a clean heart. And a clean slate. And. I love you all. Thank you. For any amount of support. That I've had from you. In 2021. 2022 is going to be a new year. I'm not just cliche saying that I'm going to change who I am. So, it's going to be a new year. And the only thing I can do is work on me. And the only thing you can do is work on you. We can't work on somebody else's life. We can encourage, we can give opinions, but ultimately, it's going to be up to that person to change and fix his own life. So with that being said, God bless you all. Thank you, God. I pray that I see the next year, and I pray you see it along with me. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Love all my friends. Love you, Robin Kelly, and your family. Love your mom. Let's do it, y'all. Work on you. you. Let that be your resolution. You know what you need to work on in your life. Work on it. Be diligent. Be diligent and work on you on purpose. Love you. God bless.